Folks, <clears throat> got the sky tree in the back. I'm about to jet from Tokyo. And uh, yeah, I got this bowl situation for 460 yen. These two goodies here. Gonna quickly dive in <clears throat> and eat this before I jet. Stay tuned. So, this soupy situation. Let's try. Sandwich is always good option. Mm. Japan's very similar to like Canada. Sit down restaurants don't open until I want to say probably 11. At least I got to see the sky tree. <clears throat> it wasn't on my hit list to share you. My whole thing was primarily eat. Anyways, 
I'll leave it at that. I'll probably try this off camera. I already know it's gonna be awesome and chocolate, can't complain. Anyways, stay tuned. Folks, so just on this Skyliner now. So something confusing happened when I was at uh, the Skytree at Oshiage. So it took this uh, line, but I was standing on the long, wrong platform. I would have actually gone to Haneda Airport. So thankfully, a local. Um, had guided me, same with security. So how it essentially works is like, you take the train up to Kyoto, and then you purchase a Skyliner ticket, and it goes all the way to the terminals two, three, and one, which is. Over here. We're gonna jet out of here and uh, go from there. So we will teleport to Seoul in just a hot minute. I don't have much uh, storage left in my phone, uh, my camera, so I'll reserve most of it for food vlogs. Let's check back in at Seoul, and I'll do an Airbnb accommodation such to your back. Finished that uh, Narita, Japan, essentially to Korea flight here. So I'm gonna quickly find the information desk, get one of those egg Wi Fi's just because uh, it's better than getting like a SIM card. It seems like uh, Japan and Korea, their cell phone plans are really crazy expensive. I mean, like, 45 Korean won is like 45 Canadian dollars for like one gigabyte or so. So, I'm gonna quickly buy like an egg Wi Fi and go from there. And then I'll probably uh, take like the, uh, the train express or like a subway thingy and go from there. Alrighty, so. Now that's the information desk really quickly. Hi there. Uh, pocket Wi Fi? Uh, gate number 7. Gate 7? Okay, thank you. Alrighty, so ask the information desk. They said by gate 7. So let's go on. In Korea, they're really about their like art and design. Like they got all these setups here. Their layout. So here. let's go. So it's either or. You can go with LGU or you can go with KT, KI. Uh, let's check out the pricing and see how it is. So you have to click on the screen. Meeting. You get a ticket and then. After that's done, they request from there. Stay tuned. So these are the rates. So you need to provide a passport, credit card, and fill out this form. And then you're off to the races. So let's uh, quickly fill this up, pay this off, and then go from there. KI wireless, unlimited data, Wi Fi egg router thingy. Here. That signage there, 1, 5, 10, like one day it's like 6,600, like Korean won. That's actually for the SIM card here. And the rental sitch is just 8,800 per day. So. I actually mistook that, but anyways, so you pay, not up front, you pay when you come back in the return instance as well. I'll probably ask them uh, the deal with like the drop off and go from there, stay tuned. Completed, so they give a, a Wi-Fi egg thingy and then you just like connect to the network there. So now I have internet which is great, 
All I need to do is uh, ask the information desk how to get to the train, but I think it's going to be just outside. Stay tuned, let me ask. So, just ask the information desk. Uh, all stop and express. They're all going to the same place. So, uh, the information desk said to go downstairs and then you just buy your ticket and go from there. So, we will be in downtown Seoul, Itaewon specifically, very shortly. Stay tuned. As you go down these escalators, you should be good. So, it's pretty seamless when you get to the uh, airport here. You just get pocket Wi Fi, you go down these escalators, and then you pretty much take the railroad. The yellow sign is clear indication of where you need to go. Stay tuned. We'll check back in when we get to the accommodation. Seems pretty straightforward. Hopefully I don't run out of Wi-Fi uh, because my phone is about to die. <laughs> when I get to the uh, railroad, just to save some battery, so. But this is a cool spot. I'll refrain from getting any, any like food here because it's all like westernized food like Burger King and whatnot. They have like this weird vivid space full of colors as well. Cool! This, they got these uh, ticket vending machines here. This is a disposable transportation card printout machine. Alrighty, Please so. select arriving station. Please select the station mark and press confirm. Okay, this is pretty hectic. Uh, alrighty, so I believe I want to take this uh, all stop train here, but before I get to Seoul, I want to. Uh, yeah. Hang on, let's uh, decide where to go here. Then. Pretty straightforward. I entered the station I wanted to get off at, Itaewon. Uh, just wanted to highlight here, cash only, no cards, just cash. So if you're coming to Korea and you don't have cash, you're gonna have to eventually uh, use an ATM to get that sorted. Stay tuned. In Seoul, uh, Incheon Airport, pretty uh, seamless actually. When you uh, arrive here, you pretty much get a ticket and it's inside the airport as well, which is nice. And then afterwards, you uh, just go down to these trains here. So, I'll check back in when I get to that station and uh, we'll explore the city together. Let's go. There's, it divvies up between two sides. One is to Terminal 2 and one is to Terminal 1 and also to Seoul Station. Everyone is queued up. So, I'll stop vlogging when I get on the train and uh, We'll just chill out for an hour and a bit and uh, go from there. We will reconvene at the accommodation. Stay tuned. Just got off the metro, Itaewon Street. It's a pretty bumping spot with like bars and such. Pretty vibey, pretty party style. Ooh. Bunch of restaurants. Nice. Let's try to find. Ooh, might come back here. Get some grilling and chilling going on. And find my accommodation and go from there. Hey, folks, my host just uh, picked me up here, so let's uh, head to this guest house. Uh huh. This is a nice street. Very. B yeah, a lot of partying. Yeah. Eastern area is the Hebron Mountain. It, uh, have a slope. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Ooh. Over here? Okay. Ooh, nice. Ooh, some snow. Guest house. 
YouTube uh, guest house here. And uh, this is my combinations, 102. So this is, oh, they got slippers here. Nice. So I'll use those. So a toilet. This is a wide bowl. Same. Shower head. Shampoo, soap, air freshener. Don't know who this is on the door. Nice setup with the uh, do not flush list condoms, cigarettes, cotton swabs, diapers, medication, needles, paper towels, tampons, and wipes. Do be noted. Wash them here. The light just is always on. Interesting. And then this is a double bed. <sighs> nice and comfy. There's a chair here as well. Mirror. Garbage. Fire extinguisher. And uh yeah. In terms of just interesting items here showing the fire exit. Their office hours are this, but uh, I forgot the hose name, Bakun. He was saying it's 24 hours and laundry as well. Uh, I'm not quite sure on the pricing of this. He was mentioning if I wanted to do it, then of course. And deposit if I lose the room key is this. But I honestly think these are kind of just like not really required. And postal code is 140-200. So check-in is after 2 p.m. Check-out is 12 a.m. Uh, noon, I think. And then can be left. Uh, and you want to check out before, let us know 24 hours before. So I'll probably require to do that um, just because my flight is at 1. So I might kind of let them know in relation to that. Anyways, so all this stuff here. Okay. Anyways, I'll leave it at that. And uh, gotta be mindful of the uh, noise level after 11 p.m. Anyways, let's uh, go out and about. I'm probably going to charge my phone for a little touch and then go for food. But this is the, uh, from Narita Airport to Seoul and then from Seoul taking the uh, transit system and then it was a quick trek from the Itaewon uh, metro station. Very simple. And the accommodation is very nice and neat. Uh, in the heart of the action with the party street. Stay tuned. In the guest house here, I'm on the main floor. Got some cool artwork, some tour stuff as well. City tour, kitchen, stove, washer dryer. Some restaurants here, if need be pizza. Interesting. I'm gonna bring some stuff. You have to be quiet from Midnight to seven. TV channels. <laughs> Subway network. Games. And uh, some blurbs. Cool. This is the front desk. Anyways, 
I'll jam pack this with uh, the Airbnb stay uh, cube guest house. But I'm gonna go out for food. Be right back. Folks, Jay here. If you're new, click subscribe. If you're turning, appreciate you. A cube a guest house here. This is the room I was in, uh, room 102. And uh, it's 12 o'clock for me to check out. So, just leave the key here. And uh, that's pretty much it. So, I'll eat the food I have in the fridge here. Uh, this spot is pretty awesome. They allow you to bring food back and put it in the fridge, which is great. And so my flight is at 8 o'clock. I need to check my bag and uh, hopefully there's no hiccups. So I'll do that. I'll eat a little snack here and then uh, jet to the airport. So I might go to a restaurant before I head to the airport. Just soak in the last few moments of Korea here. But apart from that, um, got my stuff here and about to jet. So stay tuned for that. Jay, this is a recap video of going from Japan, flying into Korea, and just, um, you know, riding on the transport system in Korea and going to the uh, accommodation here. So leaving Japan, uh, just got to see one final site tokyo uh not tokyo tower is the other um other one it's like that giant one i think it's tokyo skytree um and then i ended up getting some grab food from 7-eleven it was like a chocolate bar actually i left the chocolate bar i wish i didn't because this kind of sucked and then just had some food like convenience store food anyways um the flight going in uh it was smooth the food was like whatever it was a quick flight um i mean like i'm surprised japanese people don't fly to korea more often um, the the um the metro system for korea is actually pretty straightforward there's a lot of stairs actually i'm not a fan of the stairs but um very well thought out is like a very uh, sprawling nature um and uh yeah korea based on the video super cold if i were to go back i would definitely want to go during summertime Winter time is so cold, like you need a big jacket. Um, Cube Hostel, I would say I ended up being on the main floor and uh, there was like an individual room, so it was nice. Upstairs, there's like a shared room and like shared shower and such, but some people were saying that, you know, uh, the other people were not barely even there, so they were just like not even sharing anything at all in the space oh yeah i was staying in the heart of like the the party area at taiwan but it was kind of cold not a lot of people were going out during the time because it was cold uh the other main areas i'll try to remember them i think it was like gangnam and um uh, the other spot, yeah, those areas were uh, in Seoul itself. They were much more busier. But anyways, uh, stay tuned for more like food reviews in Seoul here. And uh, the next video as well, we're going to dive into some traditional Korean food. Stay tuned for that. And make sure you subscribe.